Department of Justice putting on notice 29 jurisdictions, including Monterey County and the city of Watsonville. Letters have been sent to those jurisdictions warning them they may not be in compliance with federal law when it comes to sharing information regarding the immigration status of criminals. Justice Department says such non-compliance restricts or prohibits the sharing of information regarding undocumented criminals. And the letters reminding jurisdictions that as a condition of receiving federal dollars to fight crime, they must comply with federal law. I think it's um, certainly the Department of Justice starting to do what they said they were going to do. We don't like these policies and we're going to enforce against you by withholding your funds. They're making true on their promises, what it appears. In a statement, Attorney General Jeff Sessions stated jurisdictions that adopt so-called sanctuary policies also adopt the view that the protection of criminal aliens is more important than the protection of law-abiding citizens. Surprisingly, the city of Santa Cruz, which has really been at the forefront of the sanctuary city movement, is not included in the list of 29 jurisdictions who received the letters. Jurisdictions have until December 8th to demonstrate that the interpretation of their laws comply with federal statutes. Aaron. Hi, Felix. Thank you. Also today, California Senators Dianne Feinstein and Kamala Harris, along with 22 others, sent a letter urging the Department of Homeland Security to accept DACA renewal applications that miss the deadline because of delays at the U.S. Postal Service. They are calling on Homeland Security to reverse its decision.